Ready for some hypothermia? Here are 10 extinct creatures that will make your blood run cold. See, hypothermia? <laughs> now, do you think that dinosaurs were kind of scary? <laughs> think again. In its time, evolution created creatures so terrifying, they make dinosaurs look like cute little babies. So, do you want to find out which creatures would have completely destroyed our world if they were alive today? Hey, sounds like fun, right? Then, let's get started! Hey, as a bonus, we might even show you something really gruesome – the world's only known literate dinosaur. But before we give you all the scary details, make sure you subscribe to our channel and turn on this little notification bell. Now you'll always be on time for every Brightside Hangout. Counting down from number 10 – Liopleurodon Yeah, this video is full of arcane $10 words, but I'll try to do my best. Liopleurodon was a giant marine reptile from the family of short-necked plesiosaurs. This species lived during the Colovian stage of the Middle Jurassic period. Hey, you're asking me? How should I know? Now, the typical size of a Liopleurodon varied from 16 to 23 feet but the largest reached over 33 feet. Considering their length and weight, Liopleurodons were predators, eating fish, squid, and smaller marine mammals. Moreover, their nostrils faced forward, which was a sign of their excellent sense of smell. This also made them one of the best predators of their time. And that's still not the only thing that made them powerful. Their long and flat flippers allowed them to swim extremely quickly so no one could hide when a Liopleurodon decided to hunt. Unfortunately, there are still a lot of unanswered questions about Liopleurodons. But one thing is for sure – you wouldn't want to meet them during an exciting trip to the ocean. Number 9. Arthropleura Time for a millipede to join our list, and it's going to be the extinct – thank you – Arthropleura. This millipede lived in the territories of current northeastern North America and Scotland about 315 million years ago. The species ranged from almost 1 to 7 feet in length and were around 2 feet in width. Arthropleura's body was apparently composed of around 30 jointed segments, covered by two side plates and one center plate. Unlike pretty much all the other creatures on our list, Arthropleuras weren't predators. That's simply because these creatures didn't have strong mouth parts, so they were entirely plant eaters. But even though Arthropleuras wouldn't pose any serious danger to us, just imagine looking down as you felt something brush against your leg and seeing this. The record for the loudest scream of all time would certainly be yours. Luckily, when the usual moist climate started to dry out, it was time for the Arthropleuras to go. Number 8. Megalania Wait a minute, isn't that like the first lady's… no? Okay. Megalania, often called Megalania prisca, is the biggest monitor lizard you can possibly imagine. Yup, it's easily the largest terrestrial lizard that ever existed. The youngest of its fossils dates back to approximately 50,000 years ago. And if you're from Australia, then you probably won't be surprised to know that Megalanias lived there before their unfortunate extinction. But was it really that unfortunate? Mm, not for us. The length of the largest Megalanias reached around 23 feet with a maximum weight of 1,320 to 1,370 pounds. They were unbelievably active hunters as well and Megalania fossils were often found near kangaroos, deers, and other large animals of this kind. However, there's a little twist to all these Megalania facts, and it's that these creatures may still be with us. In both the 19th and 20th centuries, there were numerous reports of people seeing creatures that sounded very much like surviving examples of Megalania. There's no actual evidence of this theory apart from those stories, but who knows? Maybe these creatures are still roaming our Earth. Number 7. Dunkleosteus Dunkleosteus became extinct around 358 to 382 million years ago, during the late Devonian period. However, there wasn't just one Dunkleosteus. There was actually 10 species of it, including D. Torelli, D. Denisoni, and D. Magnificus. 
Do I get 10 bucks for each of those? No? Alright. D. Torelli, the largest of them, was almost 20 feet long. Most Dunkleosteus fossils were found in North America, Poland, Belgium, and Morocco. The largest Dunkleosteus torellis had a four-bar linkage mechanism for jaw opening that allowed them to open their jaws completely in just 20 milliseconds. They really didn't have that many teeth, but it still didn't stop them from eating marine animals. Moreover, there's evidence that allows scientists to conclude that the Dunkleosteia species occasionally cannibalized each other as well, just when we thought it couldn't get any more vicious. But what do you think? Is Dunkleosteus the scary one yet? Tell us about it in the comments below. Okay, let's move right along to… Number 6. Geclopterus Geclopterus was a giant predatory sea scorpion that you definitely would want to see during your mesmerizing diving experience. Though, if you did, it would certainly be something you wouldn't forget for a long time. Anyway, after analyzing its fossil remains, scientists confirmed that Geclopterus reached a size of nearly 8.5 feet, which makes it the largest arthropod ever. These sea scorpions weren't content with underwater herbs like the harmless Arthropleurus. They preferred to ambush fish with their spring-loaded arms and slice them up using their claws. Ooh, that's a true horror movie scene that happened during the early Devonian age. Well, judging from this description, they would very much enjoy human flesh as well. <laughs> Thankfully, the Geclopterus species became extinct way before we were able to test this horrific theory. Number 5. Sarcosuchus now, why are there still no crocodiles on this list? Weren't there any scary ones? Well, let us introduce you to the Sarcosuchus, a distant relative of living crocodiles that lived about 112 million years ago. And if you're scared of today's crocodiles, this one would make you run even faster. These reptiles were almost twice as long and weighed up to 17,000 pounds. What a croc! The first Sarcosuchus remains were discovered back in 1946 in the Sahara Desert. Paleontologists found fragments of the creature's skull, vertebrae, teeth, and other parts. With time, scientists found even more fragments that helped them understand what the Sarcosuchus looked like. According to what's known now, it had somewhat telescoped eyes and a long snout with 35 teeth on each side of its upper jaw and 31 teeth on each side of its lower one. It's not that hard to hunt with this type of jaw, don't you think? Apparently, scientists agree, suggesting that Sarcosuchus might have even eaten some abundant dinosaurs. So we'll say that modern crocodiles are enough for us. No Sarcosuchus species, please. Number 4. Gorgonops Long before dinosaurs started to rule the prehistoric world, there were other dominant predators out there called Gorgonopsis. They lived around 260 million years ago, terrifying all the smaller species of that time. As for their size, these creatures were about 10 feet long and weighed nearly a thousand pounds. Hmm, doesn't sound too scary after everything we've already seen today. But that's not all. You might wonder exactly why Gorgonopsis became the main predators of their time. We mean, they were basically at the top of the food chain. Easy. It was their massive canines that protruded almost beyond their lower jaw. Plus, their legs supported their body from below as opposed to sprawling out to the sides. This advantage allowed them to reach a faster pace and get to their victims more quickly. Some theories also point out that Gorgonopsis may have been warm-blooded, which implies having at least a little bit of fur. However, these are still assumptions with no proof whatsoever. But I'm not gonna argue with old Gordy here. You want fur? You can have fur. Just don't eat me, please. Number 3. Titanoboa If you can't stand snakes, Titanoboa would definitely have scared you to death. It's believed that this gigantic snake lived in a region that's now part of northeastern Colombia, and its fossils date back to about 58 to 60 million years ago. Titanoboa holds the scary record for the largest snake ever discovered with a total length of nearly 48 feet 
and a weight of about 2,500 pounds. To put that into perspective for you, it's basically four times as heavy as a giant anaconda. As for its hunting habits, Titanoboa was most probably very sneaky, coming out of nowhere and quickly biting its prey in the jugular. Well, I'm not gonna sleep tonight. Its possible victims could have been smaller reptiles, birds, and even crocodiles. So you and I would have stood no chance against this monster snake. But what would it be like to actually meet a snake that big? Well, back in 2012, visitors in the Grand Central Terminal in New York City were given the opportunity to envision this encounter, thanks to a full-scale model replica of a Titanoboa. It had been created as a promotion for a TV show called Titanoboa Monster Snake. And seeing this model definitely sent chills down pretty much everybody's spine. Number 2 is Megan Marco Europsis. No wait, that's a lie. It's just Megan Europsis. <laughs> but I got you, didn't I? Most insects are pretty gross, but at least they're small, right? Well, not during the Permian period. At that time, the Megan Europsis species, gigantic dragonflies, were the kings and queens of everything. They still continue to be the biggest insect of all time, with a wing length of 13 inches and a body length of almost 17 inches. Now, the very first fossils of Megan Europsis were actually discovered in France back in 1880. Now we know way more about this species. For example, their hunting methods were very similar to the dragonflies of today. The only difference is that Megan Europsis was able to eat even larger organisms because of their size. They detected their victims with their large eyes and used the spine on their legs to get a hold of them. However, with time, atmospheric conditions began to change, which might have been the main reason for the extinction of Megan Marco Europsis. Oh, sorry. But after all, whatever happens, happens for the best. It would have been way harder to convince yourself to leave your house if you knew there were giant dragonflies flying outside, right? Number 1. Helicoprion Sharks are unbelievably scary, but after seeing the helicoprion, the shark from Jaws seems like a cutie. This unusual shark-like fish was around 290 million years ago, living in North America, Eastern Europe, Asia, and, no wonder, Australia's waters. Wow, poor Australia just can't catch a break here. The most distinctive feature of helicoprion was its circular jaw. Now, just imagine something like this coming towards you. Man, it would have been impossible to return to the water ever again, even if you survived the experience. Apparently, this creepy jaw operated like a buzz saw, mowing into its prey and carving it up. However, here's a plot twist. Most scientists believe that the helicoprion wasn't a shark. Instead, they're sure it was closely related to the chimeras, a type of deep-sea fish. Well, sharks or not, helicoprions proved to be incredibly strong since they survived the Permian-Triassic extinction event that killed 90% of marine animals and around 70% of terrestrial ones. But it only bought them a few million years before their own extinction. And that's how evolution saved us all once again. And now, here's a bonus! A dinosaur that was really, really, really scary. The first literate dinosaur. Yes, a dinosaur that could actually read. It was called a thesaurus. That's right, the thesaurus was easy to spot, always carrying a book or magazine to read. Its ultimate downfall? Always looking for alternative words which meant the same thing. A T-Rex ate him. Some food for thought. So, which one of these horrific creatures scared you the most? Tell us in the comment section below. If you found this video interesting, hit the like button and share it with your friends and family. If you want to see more informative videos like this one, click subscribe and join us on the Bright Side of Life. Until next time!